This video shows you how to install a virtual machine deployed on VMware vSphere client. In the VMware vSphere client window, right click the deployed virtual appliance and choose Open Console. In the console window that is displayed, enter the login name and password as prompted. Press enter when prompted. Enter a new password for the root user. The password requirements are displayed. Reconfirm when prompted. Enter a new password for the CMX admin user. The password requirements are displayed. Reconfirm when prompted. In the Select Action dialog box, click Device Configuration. In the Select a Device dialog box, click the ETHO interface. In the Network Configuration dialog box, enter the name of the host, name of the device, static IP address, netmask, and default gateway IP, and then click OK. Do not enter DNS details because the information entered here is not used by the system. In the Select Action dialog box, click DNS Configuration. In the DNS Configuration dialog box, enter the host name, DNS server names and the DNS search path's default domain. Note that host name is the RFC compliance name of the proxy VM. In the Select Action dialog box, click Save and Exit. Enter the NTP server name or the IP address of the NTP server when prompted. Configure the time zone and save the changes. To verify the status of the Cisco CMX Cloud proxy installation, run the proxy CTL status command from the command line. After the CMX Cloud Proxy is installed, you can add an account using the Proxy CTL Accounts Add command. From the welcome email you received during CMX Cloud Account Signup, copy the Account Access token. Avoid trailing and leading spaces. In the Please Enter Services Enabled on this account field, enter the corresponding service. Press 1 if you have signed up for Connect and Presence and 2 for Connect only. Leave the service domain name at the default value of cmxcisco.com. Add a controller to Cisco CMX Cloud Proxy using Proxy CTL Controllers Add command. Create a new SNMP read write string or use the default private read-write string on Cisco WLC. Do not use the default public SNMP string. 